Conservation Authority has been monitoring fisheries communities in the Toronto area and surrounding um, jurisdiction for around 30 years and we have around 500 monitoring sites that we regularly monitor along the waterfront. We do this because fish can tell us a lot about the health of an ecosystem. So when we go fishing, we're literally fishing for information. We want to know what's out there. The type of stuff that we're looking for is whether there's invasive species, native species. We partner with multiple government and non-government agencies and all of them have a collaborative interest in the health of the fisheries communities within the Toronto area and the Great Lakes in general. We do a lot of monitoring uh, for some Atlantic salmon spawning with the Lake Ontario Atlantic Salmon Restoration Program. Uh, we work with Fisheries and Oceans Canada with their Asian carp program which is an invasive species so we're trying to see presence or absence of this invasive species. We also collaborate with universities such as Carleton University for their fisheries monitoring. We have some receivers in the waterfront area which can tell us uh, the movement of the fish and whether they are using some of the habitat that we have created and restored. So we do monitor a lot of our restoration projects. So once a project happens, we do some baseline monitoring before the project happens. Then we do monitoring throughout the project and we do monitoring post-project. The Toronto and Region Conservation Authority will continuously put efforts in with their stakeholders and all their other partners to continue monitoring the fish communities in the Toronto area because we want to see an improvement in the health of our ecosystem.